I remember a time when I was struggling to get noticed, constantly trying to figure out what women wanted. I read all the books and tried all the tips, but nothing really clicked until I discovered the power of these seven habits. And guess what? It wasn't about playing games or pretending to be someone I wasn't. It was about becoming the best version of myself. Today, I'm sharing what I learned, so you can skip the frustration and get straight to the good stuff. These habits are not just attractive, they are magnetic. They draw people in, make you stand out, and give you an edge that most guys only dream about. But here's the kicker. Some of these habits are going to challenge everything you've been told. They're going to make you rethink what it means to be attractive. Are you ready for some hard truths and a little bit of controversy? Because if you are, you're about to discover how to make women not just notice you, but crave your attention. We're not talking about shallow tricks or temporary fixes. We're talking about deep transformational changes that not only make you more attractive, but also make you a better man. These habits are about more than just getting attention. They're about commanding respect, exuding confidence and living with purpose. So buckle up. If you're ready to step up your game and leave the old you in the dust, keep watching. By the end of this video, you'll understand why these habits work and how you can start using them today to attract the right kind of attention. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the first habit, which is the cornerstone of attraction, unshakable confidence. Now I know what you're thinking. I've heard this a million times, but trust me, we're going deeper. Confidence isn't just about walking into a room and thinking you're the best. It's about knowing you can handle whatever comes your way without seeking approval from others. And here's the controversial part. True confidence means not caring if people like you or not. Let me get real with you. There was a time in my life when I was desperate for approval. I'd dress a certain way, talk a certain way, and even laugh at jokes that weren't funny just to fit in. And guess what? Women saw right through it. They could sense that I was trying too hard, that I was insecure. And insecurity is the ultimate turnoff. The moment everything changed for me was when I stopped giving a damn about what people thought. I started dressing how I wanted, saying what I genuinely believed, and stopped seeking validation. It was liberating. I walked into rooms with a different energy, an energy that said, I know who I am, and I'm comfortable with it. And here's the raw truth. Some people didn't like the new me, but guess what? The ones who mattered did. Women were drawn to this newfound confidence because it was real, it was raw, and it was unshakable. I wasn't trying to impress anyone. I was just being myself, unapologetically. Confidence is about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about knowing your worth and not needing anyone else's approval to validate it. When you stop caring about what others think, you start living for yourself. And that kind of authenticity is incredibly attractive. Think about it. Have you ever noticed how some guys just seem to have this magnetic presence? It's not because they're the best looking or the richest. It's because they radiate confidence. They know who they are and they're not afraid to show it. But here's where it gets controversial. To be truly confident, you have to be willing to face rejection. You have to be okay with the fact that not everyone will like you. And that's fine. The right people will be drawn to your authenticity. This is the kind of confidence that makes women beg for your attention. Because it's rare, it's real, and it's irresistible. So, how do you build this unshakable confidence? Start by being brutally honest with yourself. What do you truly enjoy? What do you believe in? What kind of person do you want to be? Embrace those answers and let go of the need to fit into someone else's mold. I stopped playing the part others wanted me to play and started living my own story. And you know what? That's when people started paying attention. When you're confident in who you are, you become a magnet. Women will not just notice you, they'll be drawn to you intrigued by your authenticity and strength. 
So stop caring about what others think. Start living for yourself. That's where true confidence comes from. And that's the first step to making women beg for your attention. Habit number two, intellectual depth. All right, let's dive into something that's often overlooked but incredibly attractive, intellectual depth. And here comes the controversial part. Being smart is sexy. It's not just about having a high IQ or spouting off random facts. It's about being genuinely curious, engaging in deep conversations and having a passion for learning. Let me tell you a story. Back in college, I was all about partying and fitting in. I thought being the life of the party was the key to getting attention. And yes, it got me noticed, but it never led to meaningful connections. Women would talk to me, but it never went beyond surface level banter. One night, I ended up at a quieter gathering and instead of the usual party talk, we started discussing books, philosophy and current events. There was this one woman who was particularly engaged. I noticed her eyes light up when we discussed ideas, not just mindless chatter. For the first time, I saw the power of intellectual connection. From that moment, I realized that having depth wasn't just attractive, it was magnetic. Women crave a man who can challenge their minds, who can stimulate them intellectually. It's not about being a know-it-all. It's about being curious, passionate, and eager to explore new ideas. But let's get raw and honest here. The world is full of superficial interactions. Social media, small talk, and mindless entertainment dominate our lives. Being someone who seeks deeper connections can set you apart. It's controversial because it goes against the grain, but that's precisely why it's so powerful. Think about the last time you had a conversation that truly captivated you. How did it feel? Now imagine being the person who can create that experience for others. Women are incredibly attracted to men who can engage them on an intellectual level because it shows depth, thoughtfulness, and a genuine interest in the world. So, how do you develop intellectual depth? Start by being genuinely curious. Read widely, explore different subjects, and don't be afraid to dive into complex topics. But more importantly, be interested in what others have to say. Ask questions, listen actively, and engage thoughtfully. I started reading more, exploring topics I was passionate about, and engaging in conversations that mattered. And the results were incredible. I found myself connecting with people on a much deeper level, and women were drawn to this new, intellectually engaged version of me. Here's the truth. Superficial charm can only get you so far. If you want to stand out, be the guy who can hold a meaningful conversation, who can challenge and inspire. Intellectual depth is rare, and that's what makes it so attractive. So don't shy away from being smart, curious and engaged. Embrace your intellectual passions and share them with others. You'll find that this habit not only makes you more attractive, but also enriches your own life in ways you never imagined. Remember, it's not about impressing with facts, it's about connecting through ideas. That's the kind of intellectual depth that makes women not just notice you, but beg for your attention. Dive deep, stay curious, and watch the magic happen. Habit 3. Emotional Mastery Now let's tackle something that might surprise you. Emotional Mastery. And here's the controversial kicker. Women don't want a man who's an emotional roller coaster. They want someone who can handle their emotions with strength and composure. This isn't about being a robot. It's about being in control. Let me get raw and real with you. There was a time when I let my emotions control me. I'd get angry over minor things, feel devastated by rejection, and be on an emotional high one minute and crashing down the next. It was exhausting and it pushed people away, especially women. They saw me as unstable, unpredictable, and frankly, not someone they could rely on. The turning point came during a particularly rough breakup. 
I was a mess, angry, sad, and everything in between. A friend of mine, someone who seemed to always be calm and collected, gave me some tough love. He told me, you need to get a grip on your emotions. You can't let them run your life. It was harsh, but it was the wake-up call I needed. I started practicing mindfulness and meditation, learning to observe my emotions without being swept away by them. It wasn't easy. It took time and a lot of practice, but slowly I began to notice a change. I was more composed, more resilient, and most importantly, more attractive to others. Women noticed this shift. They were drawn to my newfound stability and strength. Emotional mastery isn't about suppressing your feelings. It's about acknowledging them, understanding them, and not letting them dictate your actions. It's about responding instead of reacting. This kind of emotional control shows maturity and reliability, which are incredibly attractive traits. But here's the controversial part. Some people will tell you that you need to be in touch with your emotions to express every feeling openly. While there's truth in being emotionally open, there's a fine line between openness and emotional volatility. Women appreciate a man who can express his feelings but still maintain control and composure. Think about it. Who would you rather be with? Someone who freaks out at every little thing or someone who can handle life's ups and downs with grace and calmness? Exactly. Emotional mastery isn't just about making you more attractive. It's about making you a better, more resilient person. So how do you achieve emotional mastery? Start by practicing mindfulness. Take a few minutes each day to sit quietly, observe your thoughts and feelings, and let them pass without reacting. Learn to pause and breathe before responding to stressful situations. And most importantly, accept that emotions are part of life, but they don't have to control you. I used to think that showing emotion was a sign of weakness, but the truth is, mastering your emotions is a sign of incredible strength. It shows that you're in control, that you can handle whatever life throws at you. And that's something women find irresistible, so don't be afraid to feel. Embrace your emotions, understand them, but don't let them run your life. Master your emotions, and you'll find that not only do women start to notice you more, but you also become a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. Remember, true strength lies in emotional mastery. It's not about never feeling. It's about feeling deeply and still being in control. That's the kind of emotional power that makes women beg for your attention. Embrace it and watch your life transform. Habit 4. Physical Fitness All right, let's get into something that's going to stir up some debate. Physical fitness. And here's the controversial truth. Looks matter. But before you start thinking this is all about vanity, hear me out. Physical fitness is about much more than aesthetics. It's about discipline, health and vitality. Traits that are incredibly attractive. I used to be the guy who dismissed the gym as a place for meatheads and narcissists. I was convinced that personality and intellect were all that mattered. But deep down, I knew I wasn't taking care of myself, and it showed. I felt sluggish, lacked confidence, and my energy levels were at an all-time low. Women could sense it too. I wasn't at my best, and it was obvious. The turning point came when I decided to take my health seriously. I started hitting the gym regularly, eating right, and taking care of my body. It wasn't just about looking good. It was about feeling good. And the transformation was incredible. I had more energy, felt more confident. And guess what? Women started to notice. Let's be honest, a fit body is attractive. It signals that you have the discipline to take care of yourself, that you value your health, and that you have the vitality to live life fully. But it's not about achieving some unrealistic standard of beauty. It's about being the best version of yourself, inside and out. And here's where it gets raw and real. There's a stigma that caring about your looks makes you shallow. 
but taking care of your body is a sign of self-respect. It's saying, I value myself enough to invest in my health. And that kind of self-respect is incredibly attractive. It's not about being a supermodel. It's about showing that you care about yourself. Think about it. When you see someone who's fit, you don't just see their muscles. You see their dedication, their hard work, and their commitment. These qualities are universally attractive because they reflect a person's character and determination. But let's get controversial for a moment. There's a lot of talk about body positivity and acceptance, and while it's important to love yourself at any size, it's also crucial to strive for health. Being fit isn't about conforming to societal standards. It's about being healthy, energetic, and capable of handling life's challenges. So, how do you get started? Begin with small steps. Find a physical activity you enjoy, whether it's lifting weights, running, yoga, or even dancing. Make healthier food choices, get enough sleep, and stay hydrated. It's not about drastic changes overnight. It's about consistent, sustainable habits that lead to long-term health. I remember the first time I ran a 5K after months of training. The sense of accomplishment was incredible. It wasn't just about the physical achievement. It was about proving to myself that I could set a goal and reach it. That kind of self-belief is powerful and highly attractive. So, embrace physical fitness not just for the looks but for what it represents – discipline, health and vitality. Women are drawn to men who take care of themselves because it shows that you have the energy and drive to take care of them too. Be fit. Be healthy and watch how it transforms not just your body, but your entire life. Remember, physical fitness isn't about being perfect. It's about being the best version of yourself. Show the world your dedication and you'll see the difference it makes. When you respect your body, others will respect you too. That's the kind of magnetism that makes women beg for your attention. Habit 5 pursuing your passions. Let's talk about something that's often misunderstood, pursuing your passions. Here's the controversial truth. Being passionate about something isn't just a hobby. It's a powerful attractor. And here's why. When you're deeply engaged in something you love, it lights you up from the inside out, and that glow is irresistible. I used to think that having a passion was a luxury, I worked a job that paid the bills, hung out with friends, but I always felt like something was missing. There was no spark, no fire. Then I rediscovered my love for photography, something I had put on the back burner for years. I started dedicating time to it, learning, experimenting, and creating. It transformed my life in ways I never imagined. Here's the raw and honest part. Pursuing your passion isn't always easy. It takes time, effort, and sometimes sacrifices. But the rewards are incredible. Not only did I feel more alive and fulfilled, but people also started noticing this change in me. Women were particularly drawn to this new, passionate version of myself. They could see the fire in my eyes, the excitement in my voice, and it was contagious. But let's get controversial. Society often tells us to play it safe, to stick to what's practical and predictable. Passion is seen as something secondary, something you do in your free time if you're lucky. But I'm here to tell you that following your passion is not just a luxury, it's a necessity for a fulfilling life. And women find it incredibly attractive because it shows that you're not afraid to go after what you want, that you have a zest for life. Think about it. When you meet someone who's truly passionate about something, it's inspiring. It doesn't matter what the passion is – music, sports, art, science – the key is that it's something they care deeply about. That kind of enthusiasm is magnetic. It shows that you're driven, committed, and have a life of your own. Women are drawn to men who have their own interests and passions because it indicates that you're well-rounded and interesting. So, how do you start? Begin by exploring what genuinely excites you. 
It could be something you loved as a kid, something you've always wanted to try, or even something you stumbled upon recently. Dedicate time to it, invest in it, and let it become a part of your life. It doesn't have to be your career, but it should be something that brings you joy and fulfillment. I remember the first time I shared my photography with someone. Their reaction was priceless. They were genuinely impressed, not just by the photos, but by my passion and dedication. It was a game changer. Women started to see me as more than just another guy. They saw me as someone with depth, with drive, with something special to offer. Here's the truth. A man with a passion is a man with a purpose. It shows that you're not just drifting through life, but actively creating and pursuing something meaningful. This kind of drive and enthusiasm is incredibly attractive because it reflects a life well lived. So, don't be afraid to pursue what you love. Dive into your passions, share them with the world, and watch how it transforms not just your own life, but also how people perceive you. Women will be drawn to your energy, your enthusiasm, and your commitment to living life to the fullest. Remember, passion is contagious. When you're passionate about something, it lights a fire within you that others can't help but notice. It's not just about impressing others, it's about living a life that excites and fulfills you. And that's the kind of magnetic energy that makes women beg for your attention. Habit 6. Active Listening All right, let's dive into something that's surprisingly powerful but often overlooked. Active Listening Here's the controversial truth. Most people are terrible listeners. They're too busy thinking about what they're going to say next or trying to impress. But being a great listener can make you incredibly attractive. I used to think that the key to captivating a woman's attention was to dazzle her with stories, jokes and impressive feats. I'd talk and talk, trying to fill every silence with something witty or charming. But more often than not, I'd see her eyes glaze over and the connection would fade. It took me a while to realize that I was missing the most crucial part of communication, listening. The turning point came during a date with a woman who was way out of my league. I was nervous, overcompensating with chatter, and I could tell it wasn't working. Midway through the evening, I decided to try something different. I shut up and started listening. I asked her about her interests, her passions and her dreams, and I really listened. The change was immediate. She lit up, became more engaged, and for the first time, we connected on a deeper level. Here's the raw truth. Listening is rare. We live in a world where everyone is shouting to be heard, but few are willing to listen. When you truly listen, you make the other person feel valued, respected, and understood. This is incredibly attractive because it's so rare. Women, like everyone else, want to feel heard and appreciated. But here's the controversial part. Active listening means you have to put your ego aside. It's not about you. It's about them. This can be tough because we're wired to want to share our own stories and opinions. But if you can master this skill, it will set you apart. Women will be drawn to you because you're giving them something they crave. Genuine attention. Think about it. Have you ever been in a conversation where the other person was fully present, hanging on to every word you said? How did it make you feel? Probably pretty amazing, right? Now imagine being the person who can create that experience for others. It's a game changer. So how do you become an active listener? Start by being fully present. Put away distractions, make eye contact, and show that you're engaged. Ask open-ended questions that encourage deeper conversation. And most importantly, listen not just to respond, but to understand. Habit 7. Unapologetic Authenticity Let's wrap this up with a habit that's guaranteed to be controversial. Unapologetic authenticity. Here's the deal. We live in a world obsessed with image. Social media, 
peer pressure and societal expectations push us to fit into molds that don't truly reflect who we are. But here's the raw, honest truth. Being authentically yourself is the most attractive thing you can do. I used to be a master of wearing masks. I'd tailor my personality to fit whatever situation I was in, the funny guy at parties, the serious one at work, the agreeable one on dates. I thought that by being what others wanted, I'd be more likable and more attractive. But in reality, it left me feeling disconnected and exhausted. Worse, women saw through it. They sensed the inconsistency, the lack of genuine self. The turning point came when I hit rock bottom. I was tired of pretending, tired of the constant effort to be someone I wasn't. One day, I decided to just be me, unapologetically. I stopped trying to impress and started expressing. I spoke my mind, shared my true interests, and let my real personality shine through. The result? Women found it refreshing. They were drawn to my authenticity, to the real me. Here's the controversial part. Being unapologetically authentic means you're going to piss some people off. Not everyone will like the real you, and that's okay. Authenticity is about being true to yourself, even if it means not everyone will be on board. But here's the kicker. The right people, the ones who matter, will be irresistibly drawn to you. Think about it. Authenticity is magnetic because it's rare. Most people are too busy trying to conform, to be liked by everyone, to truly be themselves. When you're authentic, you stand out. You're not just another face in the crowd. You're someone with a unique perspective, someone who's real. I remember a specific date where I decided to be completely myself. I shared my true thoughts on controversial topics, talked about my real passions, and didn't shy away from being vulnerable. It felt risky, but the connection we made was incredible. She appreciated my honesty, my openness, and my willingness to be real. We connected on a deeper level because I wasn't hiding behind a facade. Here's the raw truth. Authenticity breeds trust. When you're real, people trust you more because there's no pretense, no hidden agenda. Women are especially drawn to this because it signals confidence and security. It shows that you're comfortable in your own skin, that you're not afraid to be seen for who you truly are. But how do you embrace this unapologetic authenticity? Start by getting to know yourself. What do you truly care about? What are your values, your passions, your quirks? Embrace these aspects of yourself and don't be afraid to show them. It's about being consistent in who you are, no matter the situation. I used to be scared of rejection, of not being liked by everyone. But I learned that trying to please everyone is a losing game. When I embraced my true self, not only did my confidence soar, but my relationships became more genuine and fulfilling. Women were drawn to me because I was real, and real is always more attractive than perfect. So don't be afraid to be unapologetically authentic. Let the world see the real you with all your flaws and strengths. You'll find that not only will women be more attracted to you, but you'll also attract the right kind of people into your life. People who appreciate and love you for who you truly are. Remember, authenticity isn't about perfection. It's about being real. Embrace your true self and watch as your life transforms. Women will be drawn to your confidence, your honesty, and your genuine personality. That's the kind of irresistible charm that makes women beg for your attention. So there you have it, gentlemen, seven attractive habits that will make women beg for your attention. But let's take a step back and reflect on what we've really learned here. These habits aren't just tricks or tactics. They're about becoming a better version of yourself. They're about cultivating qualities that not only make you more attractive to women, but also enhance your overall life satisfaction and personal growth. Let's be honest and raw for a moment. The journey to becoming this version of yourself isn't always easy. It requires introspection, effort, 
and sometimes a willingness to face uncomfortable truths about who you are and who you want to become. But the rewards are incredible. You'll not only attract women, but also build stronger, more meaningful relationships with everyone in your life. When you embrace these habits, you're sending a powerful message to the world. You value yourself. You're confident, passionate, healthy, engaging, and most importantly, real. And that kind of energy is magnetic. Think about the ripple effect. When you show up as your best self, it inspires others to do the same. Your confidence and authenticity encourage those around you to be genuine and bold. You create an environment where real connections flourish, where people feel seen, heard and appreciated. And let's not forget, women are not the ultimate prize here. They're wonderful, complex human beings who deserve respect and genuine connection. The real prize is the fulfillment and joy that come from living a life true to yourself. Women will naturally be drawn to you because you're radiating the kind of confidence and authenticity that is rare and incredibly attractive. So, start today. Embrace these habits. Work on yourself with dedication and patience. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and keep pushing forward. The journey to becoming the best version of yourself is ongoing and ever-evolving. Remember, Attraction isn't just about impressing others, it's about expressing your true self. When you're confident, passionate, fit, attentive, and unapologetically authentic, you naturally draw people in. You create connections that are deep, meaningful, and lasting. So go out there, be your best self, and watch how your life transforms. You'll not only attract women, but also build a life filled with rich experiences, genuine relationships, and boundless joy. That's the kind of life that makes everyone, not just women, beg for your attention. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and hit that subscribe button for more content on becoming the best version of yourself. Until next time, stay confident. Stay authentic and stay true to who you are.